Scorpio. What's popping? It's going down in the life of a Scorpio between the 15th and the 30th of November. Hmm. Hmm. Y'all going through karmic changes? Hmm. Hmm. You having to move away from some shit? Clarity. Change. Positive change. Are you kicking and screaming? Hmm. Hey, boo, hey, if this is your first time to my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time to my, uh, for the first time to my channel, look out, I cuss. May cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say. But if cursing does not work for you, this is absolutely not your channel. So, feel free to find one of these other beautiful readers on YouTube who will resonate with you better. Don't love you no less. I love you a long time. Okay, to all of my new subscribers, welcome to the family, boo. We are dysfunctional. We don't fight and we don't fuss. We keep that shit on other people's channel. But we do cuss. We love, we enlighten, we share, we grow, we evolve. Okay, positive vibes only to um, my returning subscribers. Hey, family, what the hell y'all been, what the, what, what the hell? What y'all got going on? Do I got to get the belt? Because I'm feeling the energy of the belt. And I ain't going to... I don't play. I will get the bill. All right? Don't get it twisted, Scorpio. This is not a personal. It's a general. Okay? If you do need a personal, that information can be found within the description. That being said, this is for my sun, moon, rising, Venus, as well as the cross watchers for the sign of Scorpio. Happy birthday, boo. By the way. <laughs> oh, by the way. Happy birthday, boo. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. Bad, bad contest. You in first. Who in first place? What? We ain't even going to turn up. Like, y'all ain't ready for the mocha's turn up. All right? So, we <laughs> we finna rock. Um, Thank you, y'all, for the likes, the shares, the comments, the subscribes. Y'all, I truly appreciate it. Thank you for allowing me to share my love, my life, and my wisdom with you all, as well as my gift. I truly appreciate it. Without y'all, I don't even know where I'll be. I'm probably still fighting and shit. Popping attitudes, folks. Because my shadow side, <laughs> she fights. <laughs> she a little feisty. Brown. She a little feisty. You better know that. All right. So we <laughs> we family. We can go. We here. We can we can, we can can go there. All right. So, um, again, this will be for my summer moon, rising Venus, as well as the cross watchers for the sign of Scorpio. Um, if it does resonate, please take it a fly. Let the rest fly. And we rocking. Spirit, what is the message? Scorpio spirit message between the 15th and the 30th of November. What is it? Yeah. A lot of you all, you're really needing to meditate more. Some of you all, there's a focus on your root chakra and your throat chakra, your crown chakra. A lot of you all are going to be receiving very vivid information via dreams. You, A lot of you all, spirit, are, spirit is speaking to you during this time, but I feel like some of you all are looking in the past. If you continue to look back, you can't see what the hell is right in front of you. Um, for some of you, I got to say it, it's already done. You know, you can't really turn back the hands of time. You can just truly grow from what it is that you learn and move forward. I feel that a lot of you all are really wanting to communicate your love to somebody during this time. I feel like this could be someone who you've loved possibly since you were younger. You could have known this person for quite some time. A lot of you all are very remorseful during this time with regards to looking back towards the past and a lot of this during this time you guys a lot of y'all really need to watch your thoughts because I feel like with your thoughts like some of you all you're only seeing the negative in the situation you really needed to shift things in order to see the positive out of situations to manifest just as such okay so what you wherever you put your power wherever you put the mind or wherever the mind dwells you know that is the reality that you're looking to receive out of a particular situation. So you're really needing to watch your thoughts, okay? I'm also seeing a lot of you all are hurting on to past pain. You're really needing to take the lesson from that during this time. And I feel like spirit is going to, a lot of y'all going to receive a massive ass download, right? Somewhere, especially if you live near water. Some of you all, you're literally being called towards water. I know that it's getting colder in the northern hemispheres. We're really just getting cold every damn way. It's just. It's not the summer, summer, summer time anymore, okay? So because of that, 
it's getting a little cold, but if some of you all, maybe it's just the or maybe if you're meditating, I feel that some of you all may want to incorporate water as uh, part of your meditations. The sound, like sound therapy. I'm seeing the number 12. Some of you all could have a, um, a 12, you all. This person, especially if this person is a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, water sign like yourself. This person could also be an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You're really, to, really during this time needing to connect with your children to truly, truly, truly see where they head at. Some of you all, your third eye during this time is going to be booming. You're needing to take that information that you're receiving from spirit during this time and use it in order to progress forward, okay? But it's definitely your thoughts. Some of y'all got to let go of the past and truly see the wisdom in the situation and how far you've come in order to be a lot more appreciative or a lot more appreciate, appreciative and grateful. Uh, I didn't have an issue with my throat chakra beforehand before recording this video, so... During this time, I'm feeling like some of y'all may not be able to really fully express your thoughts the way that you want to. But just remain positive and so be it. Okay, so Spirit, what messages do you have for my lovely Scorpios during a birth during a birthday? Not the birthday, birthday season. <laughs> Between the 15th and the 30th of November. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, some of you all may be receiving communication or uh, possibly sending some type of rapid communication towards a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like for some of you all, some of you all want to manifest a fire sign in your life. Aries, Leo, Sag, this could be an older fire sign. I feel like you're very passionate about this person, but you feel like this person can be very defensive, okay? Um, or maybe in the past you've been defensive toward this person. I feel like... Yeah, some of you all are going to have to have a tired moment in order for you all to move forward. Some of y'all are definitely dealing with um, fire energy. Some of y'all are getting ready to cut off. If you're a Scorpio woman, I feel like there's a tower falling um, having to do with the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius man. And I feel like this person can be a bit selfish for the Scorpio woman. I feel like some of y'all actually may be cutting off a fire sign. I feel like you ultimately, you really want to make it work with this person. I feel like there's a lot of passion here. However, the communication straight up fucking sucks. I mean, someone communicates very childishly. And for some of y'all, you just don't let it burn. Let it, let it burn. Some of y'all may be dealing with a Leo. I think I said that in a Leo video. You gotta let it burn it down. You gotta let it burn. But some of you all, you're going to be pursuing your passion. What it is that you want to create. Some of y'all may be finding out y'all pregnant. Congratulations. Mocha loves the kids. Some of you, you're dealing with a Virgo, Pisces, Aries, Libra, Taurus. I feel like you're kind of internally conflicted about this person, especially if there's a child involved or a pregnancy involved. I feel like <laughs> some of you all, you just really want a newness in your life. You wanted this newness. For some of you all, you really, you're dealing with a damn Leo. Some of y'all got Leo pregnant. Again, congrats, Mocha Love the Kids, but you're really needing to see the blessing out of the situation. Some of you all, you just really want victory with the Leo, okay? You want to move forward. But some of you all, you want to start over and start afresh with the cancer. Some of y'all could actually be finding out some information regarding the sign of cancer. And I feel like you have love for this person. However, I feel like either you or this other person really don't know how to express it. Somebody got a bunch of damn options. If you, you, this could be you, Scorpio. They have a lot of options, okay? But somebody secretly wants to move forward due to someone not equally giving and taking. Some of y'all have an earth sign, y'all, energy. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. This person is giving you nothing for sex, and you can't buy shit with no cum, okay? Real shit. You can't buy nothing. You can't buy nothing when, when nothing with a busting of a nut, period. This is mocha uncensored tonight, okay? Some of you all feel, well, some of you all should... Well, some of you all should be happy about some child that's being born. There's going to be some type of illumination of um, information. And I feel like some of y'all are going to feel like caught in a web or like stuck, stuck or bound to a decision maybe that you made. But some of y'all are ending cycles with another water sign, especially if this person is younger than you. And it could involve secrets. Some of y'all are... Um, some of y'all are ending the cycle and possibly moving forward, possibly from a Pisces or 
towards the Pisces. But I definitely feel like, yeah, some of y'all could actually be cutting off a Pisces or getting cut off by a Pisces. This could also be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of y'all are finna sneak away from the air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like you're passionate about that person, but you're more focused on your money. You're more focused on your finances, and you just really want to be successful. You want to grow. You want to see stability. Some of you all are moving into a new cycle. Some of y'all may be getting engaged to a Gemini during this time. Congratulations, damn it. Some of y'all are really feeling stuck and trapped, possibly due to somebody being pregnant or getting pregnant, but you're not stuck, okay? But some of you all, this was the catalytic situation in order to move you forward, okay, to focus on your two of cups. Focus on a soulmate relationship. For some of you all, for those of you who have been, um, for those of you who have recently cut from a job, no worries. The Ten of Pentacles is here. You're going to find another job and you're going to be financially stable during this time, okay? Just know that you had to let go mediocre in order to be placed at the best, at the bestest. The spirit trying to give you the bestest. Some of you, you need to take that damn offer from the earth sign. Quit being so damn prideful. Some of you guys have an older Capricorn towards Virgo. This person wants to offer you their love. I feel like they really don't know how to express love in a way of connecting with the feels. They connect, they, they express love with giving you shit. Okay? And this is maybe something that you can actually help them to grow, Scorpio. Okay, by being expressive, but I feel like some of y'all just gonna take the money and run. You don't want the attachment. And I, first off, you funny as hell. Whoever doing that, you savage. I, <laughs> but I can't even laugh because, who? Scorpio, a lot of you all are gonna be cutting people off, especially this air sign. Whoever this Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this person is a soulmate to you, but some of y'all just straight up don't trust them. And it has to do with finances and possibly past situations. Some of y'all are really just needing to heal during this time. Okay? For some of you, you're healing from third-party situations. Okay? For some of you all, you're healing possibly. You want me. I see some of you all wanting to reconcile with someone, but you're afraid of rejection. Or maybe this is another water sign or a fire sign within your energy. But some of you all, some of y'all got a third-party situation, baby, on the way. Some of y'all got... To choose between fire and earth. Some of y'all is air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and fire. Some of y'all is earth and water. But some of y'all are definitely going to be receiving some type of truth and clarity around information regarding you or a child. This could even be the person in your energy if you're dating someone new and they have a child. Or this could even be your child. This could involve your grandchildren as well. Um, I feel that. For those of us who are old enough to have grandchildren, your grandchildren, this could involve your children. Maybe your child um, could be receiving some type of truth and clarity. But Scorpio, I feel that for some of you all, you're going to be visiting past life karma during this time. I feel I'm hearing hereditary cycles. So I feel as if, yeah, and this could involve, this could involve um, a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I feel like with some of you all who are dealing with water, there is love there in this situation. However, there needs to be more trust and a lack. And there's a lack of understanding, a lack of communication, but there is a lot of love. I just feel that someone has to go into, some of y'all are definitely dealing with a Virgo. Some of y'all could also be moving away from a Virgo. And this has to do with your own personal transformation, Scorpio. Some of y'all could also just be in a very reflective state during this time. I feel that this is definitely the season of truth and clarity. Any skeletons that are within the closet, baby, the monsters, the monsters especially revolving any type of third-party situations, okay, whether it's you, external to you with your family, the truth and clarity that you need is going to be moving forward is what you're going to be receiving moving forward. It's about accepting it, understanding the lesson and why we have to go through that, and just moving forward, Scorpio. No forgiveness is truly needed. Healing, understanding, and truly, truly, truly not being afraid to be vulnerable and being optimistic and open to receive and love. Somebody is not happy about this pregnancy because I feel like this pregnancy is going to be a catalytic situation to move you away from where the hell you knew you weren't supposed to be at in the first damn place. Spirit been trying to say move. As a fixed energy, you don't like rapid change. You don't like changes. Okay? You don't like fast changes. But it's going to be those changes 
that bless your game in a massive way. You just have to trust, know, and believe and let God do God's job. Okay? So I love you very much. This is what I have for my Scorpios between the 15th and the 30th of November. If you need that personal reading, please hit me up. I am available, boo. And until then, much light, much love, much abundance, many blessings. Namaste. Bye, birthday booze.